In Surrey, British Columbia, population growth has meant 2,400 extra school children just in the last two years. Many local schools just don't have enough spots, forcing tough choices. We're closing catchment areas for students who are actually living in the catchment for the school. Uh, and so we have families who in some cases could be living across the street. Uh, and unfortunately, the, there's just no space in the building. Some high schools will move to an extended school day in the fall to run more classes and accommodate more kids with a big impact on families. You know, my 16 year old, we really need her to start helping with the driving. Uh, so yeah, there's gonna be a big impact when she goes to extended day and she won't be able to go get her sister. It's not just happening in Surrey. In Edmonton, enrollment is growing at a rate not seen in 60 years. In Peterborough, Ontario, some schools are between 120 and 200 percent over capacity. I think immigration is a huge driver. Um, this urban planner who's working with school boards says there are many factors behind this growth, including increased density in school catchments. More people having to live, I think, in medium density townhouses or apartments um, rather than low density houses, largely because of affordability. One of the quickest solutions is portables, but they should only be used in short term, says this expert. Portables uh, tend to have levels of mold, uh, some problems with ventilation, air quality, uh, in some cases even pests. Now, building more schools may seem like an obvious solution, but it's a lengthy and complicated process. School boards need to prove that they're overcrowded to get more funding to build new schools. And by the time a school is built, it's often already full. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.